I thought it was interesting when you told the story. What was it like the days leading up to to you getting traded? Honestly, man. So like it was it was it was it's pretty crazy because like I didn't think I was gonna get traded. Um, like obviously I requested the trade back in uh July. What was that? July or something right before training, training camp. camp. Yep. And then um, he was like, he was told me basically wasn't wasn't gonna trade me. But you know things things happen and. Uh, so I was thinking like the trade. I didn't even. I thought the trade deadline was uh about like over. I thought it was over like Sunday or something. So I played the game Sunday. You know, get back on the bus. Uh, played out in Dallas and then man, get back to the um building and everything like that. But I think the head coach was caught off guard. I think the position coach. Uh, I think he was definitely caught off guard as well. But I should have peeps. I should have known something when we was doing like a walkthrough. Um. We was doing a walkthrough Monday because Mondays is normally you be on up there. Tuesdays oh, yeah, you're Tuesday. off. So Monday we doing a walkthrough after the game, going through the corrections. Then, uh, shoot, I don't shift my focus to Miami, start looking at some film on Miami, uh, and whatnot, and then finish up the walkthrough. I go shower, and then after I go shower, I'm about to head to my body work lady. So I'm headed to her, and then I shower. I'm walking out of the locker room. I'm like one of the last ones to leave that day. And then uh, I get a tap from a guy who was uh, a guy who uh, was like the GM assistant or whatever. I'm not sure his exact title. And then say, "Hey, um, Pose would like to see you up in his uh, was like to see you up in his office." And then I'm like, mm, "Is it more so uh, country like contract talk?" Because I thought we, we had like cut off all like contract talks anyway uh, for the season. Like you know, focus like worry about it at the end of the year or whatever the case may be. When he tapped, I said, "Oh, like." Uh, is it like urgent or whatever like that? And he was like, uh, yeah, uh, this here needs to be done in person. So <laughs> when I heard that, I'm like, oh, some, something's really up. And so, you didn't even know the trade deadline. You thought it had passed. Yeah, like, because I, I wasn't really worried about it. Because when he told me, like, okay, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to trade you. Yeah. Focus on, like, contracts, talks over it. We'll talk at the end of the season or whatever like that. So I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm just focused on leading the guys, you know, doing everything I can. And like you could ask the guys, never brought it up in the locker room, never said anything about it because that was wasn't really my focus. My focus was just like being the best version of myself and like helping the guys lead the guys. And I, I said if I do that, everything else will like take care of itself. So then I get up there or whatever, and then you know it was like you know thankful for like how you did everything, how you treated the whole process. Eventually, it went on like what was crazy. The crazy part was that it went on for like four minutes before he actually told me where I was going. So. I knew when he said this is the tough part of the business or whatever like that. I was like, crap. I was like, uh, something's going on. My heart, my stomach dropped. Like, because truth be told, I didn't like initially, like, I didn't like when I asked for the trade, like, I didn't think that it was going to really, like, unless they really got some. And then after the season started, I didn't think I was going to get traded and whatnot. And then stomach dropped. So I'm in there, like, couldn't feel anything in my stomach for like about four minutes. And then he said, uh, eventually he said, because I'm up there in my head juggling, like, where am I going out west? Like, East back home to Georgia. Did, like, you, did you have a team that you thought you were going in at, or were you just completely just like I have no yeah, idea? Yeah, when I you're thought, thinking, I, th I thought I thought um, like early in the year when I thought like I possibly could get traded, I thought it would have probably been somewhere like uh, Dallas, Seattle. I thought like Dallas, Seattle, somewhere like that, who kind of had needed a uh, inside linebacker need, and then it was one other team, maybe like the Giants, somewhere like that. I was thinking like one of those type teams, Giants or somewhere, but. Um, yeah, I would have. I would have never thought Baltimore. I came. I when I came on a visit here, like back in uh, pre draft visit, like it was. It was cool and everything, but they drafted like really late. Uh, by year, and I knew I wasn't gonna make it uh, that far. So, but yeah, it's crazy how everything works out. But I never would have thought uh, Baltimore. And then when he said Baltimore, I'm like, crap. What's in Baltimore? <laughs> like, I'm like, what am I close by? Like, and I was like, because the only time I ever been was that one time for that visit. Dang. What was yeah? What was your reaction once you did you say anything it? back? Like what? Do, I don't even know what you say. It's crazy because like you don't expect that because you're a, like all pro player, done everything right. The GM telling you, and then just it's just. I know that was crazy. Like, did you say anything? Like back or like were you just? Nah, bros. It was. Emotion. I don't know. It what was you're emotional. To say, but it was. Nah, it was definitely emotional know. and like um. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say any. I didn't say anything about. It. I was just like. You know, all right, thank you. Shook his hand and then, you know, basically walked out. And then it was basically because you have to, like, when you get traded, you, like, have to sign some papers, some stuff like that. But, like, think about it. Two weeks before that, my homeboy, Rob Quinn, uh, got traded. Like, and he was, like, kind of caught off guard, too. Like, whereas, like, he had got traded to Philly. 
and whatnot like two weeks before that. So it was kind of, and then I found out about that literally through the media on the podium. I'm up on the podium <laughs> and found out about that. So like that was definitely emotional too because it was like an OG, you know, who I know has been through a lot, you know, and gave me a lot of game who I used to kick it with like on, on the daily and whatnot. So when you just see see things like that, it just, it shows you though, you know, it's a business and you got to, you know, get yours while you can because they're going to get theirs. Yeah, that's true. Did you have to clean out your locker? Oh, no, I didn't. Bro, like when I when that happened, I didn't even go back to the locker room. I went into the training room because I care about the trainer so much and the equipment equipment people. Then I went into my locker and that uh, there was a couple guys that was in there. I told them like they couldn't believe it. Like some of the guys that was in there, bro, they was like, what are you talking about? You like, I'm like, what? They like, you joking today? Like, why are you why are you messing with us like that? <laughs> joking. And then the trainers like gave all them hugs and stuff. And then a couple guys in the uh, locker room dapped them up. And then the kitchen staff, I couldn't even see them because I'm so close with them. I felt so bad that I was, like, leaving them and everything like that. So I never really truly got to tell them bye. But I got a lot of guys who up there now, and they, like, ask about me all the time. Like, the kitchen staff be like, hey, how's Roquan doing? We miss him. So, like, you know, little things like that. And I, I felt bad because, like, it was so emotional that I wasn't able to actually yeah. process it and, like, be able to, like, give them a great goodbye as opposed to, like, hey, guys, I'm leaving because I didn't want to. And then you got to – then you actually got to go to Baltimore soon, too. You didn't really have time. Yeah. Yeah, because then – crap, like, bro, I'm walking out of the building, like, uh, emotion in my car and everything like that. Then I'm getting a call from EDC, John Harbaugh, I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey – I didn't answer because I'm just like, man, this is like this is too much to process right now. So I'm like, I couldn't I couldn't do it. So I just waited till I got home and then talked to them later, called my people and everything. Yeah. And then went from there. I mean, at least, I mean, looking back on it, at least you got traded from a it sucks those guys that gotta get traded to like a two and ten team. It'd <laughs> yeah. be like, I don't even want to play no more. You yeah. know? So that's so you get traded crazy. on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Did you play on Sunday? We had to, so luckily we had a Monday night game because EDC them tried to get me on a flight like literally that same day. So like I literally get the news at around like uh so it was basically two something um central time, Chicago Central Time, and then it was like three something. So I don't get home till like four thirty or whatever like that. And then when I got home, like they was trying to get me on a flight that night. I'm like, man, I need a day. I need a day. I said I can do the first thing tomorrow morning, and it was like a flight like six thirty. So I I popped up at like four something in the morning and then I ended up um, going like just saying hey that's what I'm that's what Did I'm Did Rashad so. send the jet for him? Nah, he didn't send the jet for him. I hopped on that Southwest flight. Bro. <laughs> they love that Southwest, bro. They love that yeah. Southwest. They did give me business select. You know, I fly <laughs> yeah, Southwest okay. anyway. Though business like, select going Southwest. They that, love that, that just Southwest. means you board top fifteen. They love that Southwest. I uh I remember when I got the news that I'm I'm confused what. Why was I in the weight room when I heard that news? What day was that you got traded? It was a Monday. It was a Monday. So you probably, you know, oh, Monday you probably, probably get your workout in. Yeah. So I'm sitting in there in the weight room and they like, we just traded for Roquan Smith. Uh, I don't know who phone. I'm like, Roquan Smith. I'm like, oh, I'm back. And then people just started hitting my line. No, that's really what happened. Some my homie is a big Chicago fan. And he hit me like, you y'all just traded for my boy. I'm like, how am I supposed to know who your boy is that yeah. literally doesn't know you? Like, yeah. you know, like, you know that you don't, that's not your boy. Yeah. So then I, I'm like, I'm like, man, that's gonna be nice. Cause I think I'm trying to think who our backers were at the time besides PQ. AJ Klein. Oh, Clean yeah, we, Klein. we was going through some guys at that point. Yeah. Uh we was we was Bonds, Josh Bonds. We was in a it was a funnel of guys. And then people was like, Yeah, you're gonna love Ro. You're gonna love Ro. I'm like, for real, he's a cool guy. And then he got in here, he yeah, is he a cool guy? What do you think? A cool guy. Yeah. Cool guy. Hey, I will say this. At that at that point in time, we didn't I would say the it was weird. The leader of the team was probably like Chuck was calling the plays, Green Dot. We didn't really have like a true identity identity. Cause it was just, you know, I've been on teams before where like you don't have like a a guy that like is just a leader. But guys just do their jobs. Yeah. There's nothing. Those teams can can be good, but I feel like certain teams need that guy. You know what I mean? And I think, like, even some of those teams that when I look back at, like, Bama, my last year we didn't really have, like, a true leader leader. And that team was – that was a really good team. But they just held, like, almost got beat up in a practice one time because I wasn't practicing good. So, like, <laughs> it was just like, you know, guys just usually did – they expect you to do your job. But 
at that time, at that time, that team, we were kind of struggling on just like when, when like our backs are against the wall, teams mm-hmm. are you know pushing up on us. We we needed somebody to be that, and we didn't, we didn't, we kind of struggled with that. So he came, he came at perfect time. 